Hello and happy Monday. I know it hasn't been that long since I've checked in with all of you, but yet um, uh, it seems like it's been a while for me um, as far as creating something new. I was busy getting out um, all of the cards from the November stamp camp up to date and it seems so strange to have that all caught up, but I love that I am caught up. So today I'm coming to you from my craft room and um, there was a few glitches in getting set up, so I just thought, you know, I'm going to go with it today and hopefully throughout the week when I have my boys home um, from college, they can help me with maneuvering some um, heavier things and hopefully going forward, this will be where I'll always be and um, I can hopefully do it more efficiently and still have good lighting and quality projects to show you too. Well, hey Lisa, thanks for joining in. So I'm just going to get my iPad caught up here and if it doesn't, I'm just gonna go with it because I think I can um, easily see kind of too where, um, where your comments are when I do this. So um, yeah, and there are a couple of you on, so that helps too. So I think I'm just gonna go for it. So, um, before I get started, the reason I'm doing it is I have another virtual hostess and I'm really excited about that. So um, Linda Sampson has stepped up to be my virtual hostess this week. And when I say this week, it's because it's a holiday. So I'll do today, Tuesday, Wednesday, and those will be her three card demonstration days. And so with that, um, then everybody else can enjoy as well as me, um, the family time uh, over Thanksgiving and such. And I know a lot of us will be having smaller gatherings and, um, we're just keeping it really small here, our immediate family. And so that will allow you guys to have fun and not worry about missing out on any of my creations that I'm doing because I won't be doing any creations at least live. Hi, Linda. Thanks so much for joining in. Hello, Janet. And so um, with that, so Linda um, is my virtual hostess for this week. Um, just open up her host code. I'm not sure for sure when she's closing, but also there is a huge sale tomorrow. Not huge, um, but huge is far as the amount. So the annual catalog, almost everything will be on sale at 10% off tomorrow only, 24 hours. So actually tonight, I always say our time here in Minnesota, 1 a.m. because um, the sale starts midnight in Salt Lake City. So um, for 24 hours, almost everything will be on sale for 10% off. So um, with that, uh, uh, annual catalog things and there's an exception so go to this page and then I have a chart kind of if you didn't get my email there's a chart too on this page at the top that has all of the things that are excluded in the 10% sales so um, if you want to use Linda's code you can I still have my code open um, for just a couple more days for November stamp camp too so either way so you'll hopefully get some cards if you order um, by doing that either way hi ginger hi Shelly so um, yeah I'm not having good luck in it could could be um, just because I'm in a different room. I'm not having good luck pulling up my um, iPad, but I think I'm going to just go and um, start with my card. So here is my card. How cute is that guy? Oh, the lighting is almost there too bright. Joy to the world. So he's singing out his heart and I've seen so many cute ideas using this simple technique. Um, I kind of copied this um, inspiration from a gift tag and I thought oh you guys love cards so it's like how can I expand it make it bigger make it something that can fit on a card so I just want to um, show you how that can be done so let me get my camera moved around here and let's see yeah, and I thought, you know, telling you that it came from a tag, too, was kind of a neat idea because then, oops, I want to get a little bit higher, not too low, um, because then if you think, oh, that would make a cute tag, then, and you, a lot of you love to make your own tags for the holiday season, that would also help for that, too. So, um, to tell you where things are coming from. Um, the sentiment, um, joy to the world, as well as the one that I'll use for the inside. If you like to follow along, come from the annual catalog on page 62. And you have to go once again. She's using that itty bitty Christmas. I've been on an itty bitty run uh, for quite a while. So there's joy to the world. And then I'll show you my other sentiment later. So that's from the annual catalog. And then from the holiday catalog, I love the heartwarming hugs designer series paper. So they 
they have such great, great designs in the designer series paper for traditional Christmas crafters. So if you love your reds and greens, these are great papers for that. So all sorts of different patterns on there and such too. So it was almost hard to find what I wanted, but I kind of wanted the cuteness to be on my reindeer that I'm creating out of dyes and I thought in punches. And so I thought, well, let's stick with kind of the simpler red. But of course, um, once I cut that out and started to put my adhesive on the back side, I'm like, oh, but I love stripes too. So that was kind of how uh, that went. But yeah, this is where I'm pulling it is that heartwarming hugs from uh, the holiday catalog. So hi, Tori. So for those of you just joining in, once again, here's my card um, front and center so that you can see it and read it. It's not back backwards. So yeah, my day is kind of mixed up. So I kind of knew that I would be needing to um, come to you in the morning. Um, just kind of a day of running. I've already been running and I know I'll be running again and bringing uh, food out to the field. I thought I was done with that, but change of plans. <laughs> okay. So lots of dyes today. So the dyes that I am using today are the Stitch So Sweetly dyes. And that's going to give me the fun um, rectangular stitched, but um, um, look but yet with the scallop edge there and then I'm also using oops I've got this turned around oh it's on the cover here too um, the layering ovals framelits so um, with that they are always a mess I don't know if yours are and so when I was trying to find the right sizes so that it could help you guys it was like oh boy I'm not sure um, how to explain that well but I will try my best and then layering circles framelits too are what I'm using for the framelits okay so let me set that aside and I think I'm just going to do um, the little bit of stamping and then I can run everything through um, my my die cutting machine too so um, let me just move that aside and grab my cardstock here so the cardstock colors are kind of some uh, neutrals but um, white is what um, my cardstock is here and then real red ink for my joy to the world so I'm just going to stamp that out like so and set that aside and then here comes the massive cutting with the big shot so um i'll pull this over here and i'm using the smallest the smallest um circle in the layering circle so that will help you um so that's an easy one to find if you have that set and then next i am using um the smallest circle that has a little like scallop whoops scallop edge to it okay and so that makes it easy to find that if you have the the layering circles dies so those two are easy so those all cut out at the same time and I know some of you say that you make notes, so that's great. So I'm hoping that it can help you with that by, even if I don't have them numbered or anything, that will help you with um, which ones too. So, hi Joan, thanks for joining in. Okay, and then for my next round of cutting, and this is going to be for the body of my reindeer here, I'm using the ovals. And so I am using the smallest oval in the layering ovals dies, as well as one that's just a few sizes up. And so, like I said, they're so similar kind of that, um, you know, maybe I'll even just measure this quick, the cardstock that I'm using, and then that might be able to help you too. Um, so about two and a quarter, by almost three and a half is kind of what it's fitting on. If you can kind of see that, that might help too. And ovals are kind of just hard to measure themselves because of all the curves that they have. So I'm going to cut those out. So just know it's the smallest oval for sure. And then a few steps up. And those don't have any scallops on them, just the plain oval edge there. So hello, Deb. Um, so that I'm going to set aside my two circles, my two ovals, and then I just have one more die cut to do. And then this, like I said, is the stitch so sweetly with um, the stitched frame and then 
the scallop edge on that. And so that I'm cutting out of the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. I'm using the largest scalloped rectangle from that set. So that, that one's easy to find too because it's the largest. So that I'll set aside. Okay, so now it's going to be just a lot of assembly. Um, and being in my craft room today, um, what I love is I kind of don't have, well, I don't have as big of a sense of fear of, oh my goodness, I forgot something in my stamp room and such because it should all be in here. I can just turn around or it's going to be right in front of me. So I'm excited about that. So I'm just scoring some real red cardstock here to get my layering going. And then, um, uh, this is four and a quarter by five and a half. I hope the lighting's decent. I have all my windows open. It's a sunny day, but I do have an improvement that maybe will be even tomorrow that will bring me some more light that I'm excited about too. So you can comment, you know, any criticism is okay with me. I handle that well because I want to make as decent of videos as I can for you. Okay, so um, I'm just going to take the rectangle scallop from the Stitch So Sweetly and tape that down with my seal on to some crumb cake. My crumb cake measurement is three and a half by 4.75. So that's a pretty easy measurement there. And then that is ready to tack down on my card base. And I love these colors together. Real red for Christmas is always like a go-to. And then the crumb cake just makes it be automatically more um, kind of homespun or homey looking, crafty looking. So the crumb cake is a great color to bring in. And then for assembling um, the reindeer, then I'm just taking that same um, adhesive and just putting that kind of in the middle of my oval like so. I'm leaving it um, a little bit, um, leaving a little bit more space at the top, not a lot, just a hair um, for the nose. Um, and then for the antlers, my grandson was so cute. My husband and I were eating ribs um, last week or the week before, and he was with us, and he we were piling our bones up on a uh, plate, and he said, are those reindeer antlers? And so I thought that was so cute. Those were rib bones. So um, he thought they were reindeer antlers. It kind of made me giggle that that's how they see those things. <laughs> um, so for the sprig punch that I used here, the sprig punch, I just punched that out of early espresso. And that is also, I forgot to tell you what is in the center here is early espresso. And then I'm just going to take my scissor and snip those in half like so it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to kind of be hidden and then with my glue dots I'm just going to uh, take and press that into there for the one and press it down into my next glue dot on my other one and then I can just kind of make these kind of come out to the side whoops Okay, trying not to um, <laughs> uh, break it off because of the glue and also trying not to bend it and such. So here we have our fun little antlers with the sprig punch like so. Hi, Diane. Thanks for joining in. And then this is my disclaimer. I needed a tiny, tiny little circle punch. And um, uh, this is like this joy to the world, the sentiment is the smallest in that um, grouping of dies. So I'm pulling out a half inch punch. It's retired. I know for a while it was on clearance rack. I forgot to check this morning to see if it was on clearance rack um, still, but um, that's what I'm using. And actually some of our dies, um, other die sets have just circle pieces that cut out other things. So you might have a set of dies that has a tiny little circle too but that's where that is coming from so that's my disclaimer and you guys know me I try my best to be a hundred percent current products all the time so that because it's kind of smaller I'm just going to um, press that into a glue dot as well to get a good um, amount of adhesive on that so now our cute little reindeer is really coming um, together well so that one is ready to be put on the card 
that part of it. So I'm just going to kind of go over those antlers because they're kind of spindly with a couple um, dimensionals like so. And then um, I'm going to put a couple more down here too. So I have this new brace on my wrist and it is helping it um, a lot, but it kind of makes some of my crafting seem a little bit awkward. So if I look like I'm struggling, that's probably part of it. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to center now our cute little reindeer in this, kind of up towards the top. So it's pretty close um, with the reindeers and framing it and that'll leave some space here for a sentiment. So for the sentiment, I'm just adding just a little bit of my adhesive. Um, on to my joy to the world and this matting of the smallest circle and the smallest next oval one in the set of dies. Hi Tracy! Thank you, Lisa. So it is a really tight fit of matting, but what I like about that is, you know, it kind of gives you that edge. It has a cute little scallop, but it doesn't take away from the reindeer, so that's great. Um, so I'm just going to put a dimensional. I think one is probably enough. And kind of just put that at a little bit of an angle there too. So, um, so we've got that. And then the accessory that I'm going to add to the front is going to be some ribbon. So in the holiday catalog, there's the coming um, home or um, trimming the town bundle and trimming the town suite. And it's got a, a, a double pack of ribbons, combo pack. Thank you, Tori. And so it's got old olive and then this real red with, hopefully the camera picks that up. Sometimes I have to put my hand over my card so it doesn't pick up my card in the background. Thanks, Ginger. Um, so you can see it's got some fun gold edging to that. So I thought that just kind of spruced up the card a little bit too. Um, so I'm just going to, it's a 1 8 inch, so I kind of always have to make sure that I'm really um, keeping it folded, or not folded, but kind of flattened as I tie my um, my knot, not my bow, because you know me, <laughs> it's going to be a knot. Bows are not my friend. Okay, so that, that actually turned out pretty well and stayed pretty flat to the card. So I'm just going to cut off just that little bit of extra, and I love the shimmer shine that that adds to the card front like so. So we've got that, and then my backup plan, because you guys know me, it's like always, uh, should I have done this or that? Um, they have the new braided trim, linen trim um, also in real red, and I thought that could kind of look fun and homespun for the card too. So if you already purchased um, this, I think that would make a great alternative because you know me, I'm not always about, hey, buy something new all the time. Um, so that if you have that in your stash, that could be pretty good. And then for the inside, I'm just going back to the itty bitty Christmas greetings. And I've always loved this simple Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year because sometimes as clever as we want to be with different sayings, sometimes this is all we want to say is Happy or Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So yes, thanks, Joan. Yeah, I love to do that for you guys just because you guys are so awesome and supporting me that I don't want you to feel like you always have to go buy something else all the time. But um, it always is fun to offer different things so that you can see the, the choices that there are too. So um, I love how crisp this image always uh, stamps out too for the inside greetings. So that is plain and simple like so. Um, I thought about adding some little rhinestones or gems um, around the reindeer um, in some real red because that would be fun. But yet, I just thought he looked so cute. I didn't want to take away from him either. So I'm just kind of leaving him look kind of homespun, uh, crafty with the crumb cake and the red together. So yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed seeing something like this. And like I said, the inspiration I came was from seeing somebody made a similar uh, reindeer and she made a tag out of it using different combination of papers and different things. But I thought, oh, this would make such a cute card. So that is my card for today for Linda Sampson's party. Her, um, her code is here. I do need to run again out to the field. And so I'm thinking that I might not get my card uploaded um, until this afternoon. And then I, at that time, will include the instructions um, with her host code and all the supplies that I used to make today's card too. So um, just a note that it'll be coming to you a little bit later. So let me get my camera. If I lost everybody or not, my 
Okay, hopefully not. So yeah, as I moved my uh, my tripod, I'm just gonna hold it because as I moved it, then all of a sudden um, it went blank, but then I saw it said trying to reconnect. So it's probably just the internet. And so hopefully I didn't have much more to say, but uh, just that that's card number one for Linda Sampson's virtual party. And I'll be coming back to you tomorrow, probably in the afternoon and Wednesday, again, with cards number two and three for her virtual party. So hope you guys are having a great day. Take care.